Restoring Global Eco Balance. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 105. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 105, March 6, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering our team's accomplishments and progress for the last week with video and pictures. If you'd like more details, more specifics, uh, links to all of the open source content, resources, tools, tutorials, everything that our team is creating, you can visit our written blog. Last but not least, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer and Satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, finished another 30% of the Technology and Innovation Molecule graphic, which you can see here. This brings us to 100% complete with this image and subject that covers the greatest minds, inventions, and creations of all time, learning strategies, test-taking strategies, technology implementation, systems theory and analysis, and more. We also researched and added this new section to the Open Source and Free Shared Online Education Resources Archive. This new section includes 28 free textbook and other free book resources, continuing to maintain this page as the largest source of free education resources in the world, at least to our knowledge. Paige Allison Donatelli, graphic designer and owner-operator of Namaste Living in a Material World, also finished the first 20% of the image creation of the lesson plan we're working on with the central theme of civilization. When complete on the site, this lesson plan teaches all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of civilization. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week the core team working on highest good food researched and added the final major components to our open source carrots hub, recipes. You can see these new additions here. We also did this for the open source beets hub. These first recipe lists will grow as our food experts continue the process of designing the food self-sufficiency transition plan. Speaking of food experts, Sandra Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your QB, helped us with this new lentil artichoke stew recipe, complete with making the recipe and taking the picture you see here. You can find these details in the vegan section of the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan and added to the Beans and Alliums pages also. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week the core team working on highest good housing 
continued laying out the specifics for the open source Murphy bed furniture assembly details behind the scenes. These are part of the Earthbag Village and the crowdfunding campaign plan, and new updates included cutting lumber and labeling pieces for the two nightstands. What you see here is this behind the scenes work in progress, and we estimate we are now 45% complete with what is needed for the website. Also behind the scenes, we finished the final 10% of the Earth Dome window and door framing. Here are pictures of all this behind the scenes formatting, writing, and image creation needed before we could start moving these specifics to the website, which is the next step. In addition to this, we added the rest of the amazing work and calculation details from Samuel Soroster, permaculturist and sustainable designer from Green New World, to the Eco Bathroom and Shower Open Source Hub. New sections you see here are sections 5 through 7, including dry urinals, sewage systems, biodigester calculations, and initial energy consumption calculations. This brings us to what we'd say is about 75% complete with the foundational design of this system. Scott Thomas and the Shadow Ridge Signature Architecture Program team also began putting together the Earthbag Village Shared Accommodations 3-dome cluster designs you see here, complete with furniture layout showing two couples' domes and a children's dome. And they also did this for the six dome cluster that you can see here. These works in progress consist mostly of Murphy bed dome designs with a shared student's dome and a children's dome. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team added new details on the specific systems for the sustainable water heating resource page. This is sharing the excellent work of Ron Payne, mechanical engineer and HVAC thermal designer. Arvin Batra and his team at P2S Engineering also produced these mechanical zoning plans. These will be the areas that we are seeking a mechanical contractor to zone out individually with individual control for the radiant flooring systems. For this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane, which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world. And the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team completely redesigned our Solutions That Create Solutions page to explain in much more detail how a self-replicating model like One Community has the potential to create a completely sustainable planet and positively impact every living person and thing within 30 years. You can see this redesign here and read all the details on the website. We also created this new manual submission page for our partner interest form to help anyone who has problems with our digital submission page. And we finished the first 50% of the web page design for the Science for Sustainable Development chapter of our People's Agenda 21 website that is a rewrite of Agenda 21. This rewrite removes government involvement and instead focuses on sharing open source resources to promote and facilitate the individual and community-based actions that can be taken to help create a more sustainable world for everyone. Last but not least, we were happy to feature the beautiful work of Paige Allison Donatelli, graphic designer and owner-operator of Namaste Living in a Material World as our new social media image for our open source page. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. Right now, restoring global eco-balance is something that is in the news a lot. One community's approach to looking at this and, and to addressing this issue is to see all of humanity's current challenges as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. And to open source and free share solutions to all of them simultaneously so that this idea of restoring global eco-balance can be forwarded by 
a collaborative and cooperative group of teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities working together around the world to teach others how to build teacher demonstration communities, villages, and cities as well. And so we are taking all of the elements that we see as essential to creating a holistic and ecological living style, and we're putting them all together. This includes the physical elements of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combining those with highest good approaches to economics, education, fulfilled living, and true earth stewardship. Putting all of these things together as a comprehensive model that could be a teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub, or could be implemented individually. Everything that we're doing is designed to be combined together into one model, but it's also being designed so that individual applications, adaptations, replications, duplications of what it is that we're doing can be created too. This way, all of our energy, all of our creative process, everything that our completely volunteer, unpaid, nonprofit staff are doing is moving us in the right direction. And this is why we talk about bringing people together with a consciousness for the highest good of all and creating global solutions. This is what we're doing. And everything that we're doing is designed to be replicated and it's open source and free shared to make that as easy as possible. So if this idea sounds fun to you, if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds like something you'd like to be a part of, we're constantly growing our team. This is your invitation to join us, to get involved, to volunteer for an organization that has the idea of restoring global eco balance at the front of our creative process, but it's built on a foundation of also creating a living style, a lifestyle that most people will consider to be far superior to the way that they're living right now. And one community, the physical location, built on the property that we've identified that's designed and cho was chosen specifically to host tens of thousands of people annually, one community, the physical location, will be that place where people can come and visit it, experience the lifestyle, see what it's all about. And if they like what they see, if they like what they experience, take, they'll be able to take all of the blueprints, all the tools, the tutorials, the resources, everything we're creating right now and will continue to create indefinitely. And they'll be able to duplicate what it is that we've created, creating the next teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub. And then we, in collaboration, cooperation with them as an organization, will help to build the third one, and the fourth one, and the fifth one. An idea like this has the potential to become self-replicating and transform the world within 30 years. And when I say transform the world, it has the potential to touch every single person on the planet within 30 years. If one community inspires two more communities the next year, that inspire four more communities the next year, that inspire eight more communities the next year, that inspire 16 more communities, 32, 64. That idea, that replicating model of, of, of ecological living has the potential to transform the entire planet to a sustainable one, to truly restore global eco-balance in 30 years. And what if we don't get there? What if we only affect a million people, 10 million people, 100 million people. Can you imagine the impact? And then how much longer would it take to transform the whole world? It's possible. The idea of, of, of restoring global eco-balance, of creating holistic lifestyles that better meet the needs of individuals while simultaneously doing something good for the biosphere seems to make sense. So people ask, what can I do to help one community? What's the number one thing that I could do to help not one community? Well, the number one thing that you could do is we are still looking for large scale funding. We are still seeking the individual or the small group that would like to either invest in one community or donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization and help us get the property off the market. We've been working with the same property for four years, but we haven't been able to do any on property work. We haven't been able to do any specific site surveys or any of those details because we don't own the property and we can't disclose the location until we have it off the market because somebody else could purchase the property out from underneath us and we put so much time and energy building relationships with the county, working with this specific location, designing our business plan around it, designing our sharing plan around it, all these details, but the property is still on the market. So if you know somebody or you're connected to somebody or you are that individual or that group that has the potential to fund one community, I would love to speak with you. The other way that you can help is just by sharing our information. 
We are on all the different social media networks. Sue is our favorite, newest social media network, but we are also on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Reddit, Tumblr, Pinterest. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to share our information and get the word out there to help us find that funder or to help us continue to build our team with elite professionals, all the folks that are willing to donate their time and energy to world change the way that we're creating it. And of course, small donations are appreciated too. The $5 donations, the $10 donations, all the little donations that we get are massively helpful because none of our team is paid. And so those things help us to pay for our web expenses. They help us continue to open source things and purchase the little things that are necessary to keep one community operating, our nonprofit expenses and that kind of stuff. So, and then last but not least, of course, we're grateful for all the emails that we get, the comments that we get, the suggestions that we get, the resources that are sent to us. All that information helps us to improve our website, improve our open source creative process and our content as well. We are in the process of restoring global eco-balance right now. It's happening. A lot of people say, oh, when are we going to change the world? World change is happening right now. A lot of people say, when are you going to get on the property? Like, when is one community really going to start taking off? One community is already taking off. We've got tens of thousands of hours invested in the creative process. We've created amazing open source resources, some of which have been shared thousands and thousands of times on Facebook and through social media. So the word is getting out there, the creative process is happening, and the resources are being used. We're creating a better world right now. So if you'd like to get involved, if you'd like to be a part of this, or for all of the folks that have already been involved, they're already been a part of this, and the people that are sharing our information, following our progress, we of course say thank you. We will continue to keep on keeping on. And until next week, have a great week. Thanks for following our progress.